he crossed the Pecos River, just north of Sheffield, Texas, and took a route 349 south. When he pulled into the filling station at Sheffield, it was almost dark. A long red twilight with doves crossing the highway heading south towards some ranch tanks. He got changed from the proprietor and made a phone call and filled the tank and went back in and paid. You all getting on rain up your way, the proprietor said. Which way would that be? I seen you from Dallas. Sugar picked up his change off the counter. And what business is it of yours where I'm from? Friendo? I didn't mean nothing by it. You didn't mean nothing by it. I was just passing the time of day. I guess that passes for manners in your cracker view of things. Well, sir, I apologized. If you don't want to accept my apology, I don't know what else I can do for you. How much are these? Sir, I said, how much are these? Sixty-nine cents. Sugar unfolded a dollar onto the counter. The man rang it up and stacked the change before him the way a dealer places chips. Sugar hadn't taken his eyes from him. The man looked away. He coughed. Sugar opened the plastic package of cashews with his teeth and doled the third part of them into his palm and stood eating. Will there be something else? The man said. I don't know. Will there? Is there something wrong? With what? With anything. Is that what you're asking me? Is there something wrong with anything? The man turned away and put his fist into his mouth. And coughed again. He looked at Chagur, and he looked away. He looked out of the window at the front of the store. The gas pumps and the car sitting there. Chagur ate another small handful of cashews. Will there be... Will there be anything else? You already asked me that. Well, I, I need to see about closing. See about closing. Yes, sir. What time do you close? Now? We, we close now? Now is not a time. What time do you close? Generally around dark. At dark. Sugar stood slowly chewing. You don't know what you're talking about, do you? Sir? I said, you don't know what you're talking about, do you? I'm talking about closing. That's what I'm talking about. What time do you go to bed? Sir? You're a bit deaf, aren't you? I said, what time do you go to bed? Well, I'd say around 9.30, somewhere around 9.30. Sugar poured more cashews into his palm. I could come back then, he said. We'll be closed then. That's all right. Well, why would you be coming back? We'll be closed. You said that. Well, we will. You live in that house behind the store. Yes, I do. You lived here all your life. The proprietor took a while to answer. This was my wife's father's place, he said. Originally, you married into it. We lived in Temple, Texas for many years. Raised a family here in Temple. We come out here about four years ago. You married into it. If that's the way you want to put it. I don't have some way to put it. That's the way it is. Well, I need to close now. Sugar poured the last of the cashews into his palm. Then weighted the little bag and placed it on the counter. He 
you stood oddly erect, chewing. You seem to have a lot of questions, the proprietor said. For somebody that don't want to say where it is they're from, what's the most you ever lost on a coin toss? Sir, I said, what's the most you ever lost on a coin toss? Coin toss? Coin toss. I don't know. Folks don't generally bet on a coin toss. It's usually more like just to settle something. What's the biggest thing you ever saw settled? I don't know. Sugar took a 25 cent piece from his pocket and flipped it, spinning it onto the bluish glare of the fluorescent lights overhead. He caught it and slapped it back onto the back of his forearm, just above the bloody wrappings. Call it, he said. Call it? Yes. For what? Just call it. Well, I don't even know what it is we're calling here. How would that change anything? The man looked into Sugar's eyes for the first time, blue as lipus, at once glistening and totally opaque, like wet stones. You need to call it, Sugar said. I can't call it for you. It wouldn't be fair. It wouldn't even be right. Just call it. I didn't put nothing up. Yes, you did. You've been putting it up your whole life. You just didn't know it. You know what the date is on this coin? No. It's 1958. It's been traveling 22 years to get here. And now it's here. And I'm here. And I've got my hand over it. And it's either heads or tails. And you have to say, call it. I don't know what it is. I stand to win. In the blue light, the man's face was beaded thinly with sweat. He licked his upper lip. You stand to win everything, Sugar said. Everything. You ain't making any sense, mister. Call it. Heads in. Sugar uncovered the coin. He turned his arm slightly for the man to see. Well done, he said. He picked the coin from his wrist and handed it across. What do I want with that? Take it, it's your lucky coin. I don't need it. Yes, you do. Take it. The man took the coin. I got the clothes now, he said. Don't put it in your pocket, sir. Don't put it in your pocket. Where do you want me to put it? Don't put it in your pocket. You, you won't know which one it is. All right. Anything can be an instrument, Sugar said. Small things, things you wouldn't even notice. They pass from one hand, from hand to hand. People don't pay attention. And then one day there's an accounting. And after that nothing is the same. Well, you say it's just a coin, for instance. Nothing special there. What could that be an instrument of? You see the problem. To separate the act from the thing. As if the parts of some moment in history might have might be interchangeable with the parts of some other moment. How could that be? Well, it's just a coin, yes. That's true, is it? Sugar cupped his hand and scooped his change from the counter into his palm and put the change in his pocket and turned and walked out of the door. The proprietor watched him go 
watched him get into the car. The car started and pulled off from the gravel apron onto the highway south. The lights never did come on. He laid the coin on the counter and looked at it. He put both hands on the counter and just stood, leaning there with his head bowed. <sighs> Thank you very much for listening. I hope my sore throat gets better soon, but you know, you might as well use it for, uh, for something like this. Thanks for watching. Bye.